Hi everyone, Cinder 9 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. We're going to continue in our place in the uh, coal mines. I'm just going to take a wild guess here and say you're the one like planting all the bombs. Just, just a guess. I could be off. Hey, star. Need that. Well. Huh, we can't get through there. Hey, would you happen to have... Punchinello. Good day. Name's Nello. Punchinello. Punchinello? Never heard of you. They say I'm a hothead, but I'll show them. You will make me famous! So long! This is Punchinello. Obviously, he already, uh... <laughs> introduced himself. Well... Start off with just a tap. 64. And let's get a super jump in. As you can see, it does nothing! There are enemies that are actually resistant to jump. Now, these are usually spiky enemies. Like, think of what, if you've played any Mario game, what you normally wouldn't jump on. Like a, uh... Anything that has spikes on it, you normally wouldn't jump on. Uh, piranha plants, you normally wouldn't jump on. You know, if you just played Mario games, you know what not to jump on. Like, spikies. Things like that. They're usually resistant to jump, but some bosses will be too, like this guy. Psychopath. One thousand one hundred thirty-six HP. Yeah, I see we're already famous. Bomb and bomb. You can't block these, as you see, they do not much damage. But again, that's with level and gear. They can do some damage, and if they do, then it could be trouble. To get rid of them easily, if I remember right, you'll want to use the uh you want to use Mallow's Thunderbolt. As for Punchinello himself. Microbombs. Alright. So Mario's just gonna punch. Uh, let's get a Thunderbolt then. As you see, that gets rid of them. Easy. But then he's just gonna throw more. This is his thing. Did you not see all the bombs he was throwing? <laughs> not bad. And because you're resistant to jump, we're just gonna swing. He may take some damage from a fire orb. But I'm just gonna save the uh, flowers for the other characters. Pop, 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 pop. And more micro bombs. After he takes about a third of his HP and damage. Not bad, not bad. Now let's up the ante. Punchinella begins not playing around. He pulls out regular bomb bombs. Now we know they do more damage. We fought them before. So of course they're gonna do more than the micro bombs. And he's gonna just throw them into your face. Over and over again. There's Punchinello's attack. At this point you'll really want to watch everybody's HP. Your main target is Punchinello. Don't try to uh, reduce damage from the bombs. He's just going to summon more. If you want to, though, use Thunderbolt. I got a perfect block. Just to try to stop it. Stop them all from going off. After you take another third of his HP, so he's down to just one third left. All right. It's clobbering time. He pulls out the big guns. Mezzobombs. These are even bigger and more dangerous. 
same principle applies though. He's going to keep summoning them. So... Oh, Sandstorm. You have to catch that. Sandstorm is annoying because, as you can see, it causes uh, the uh, fear status effect where you do less damage. Um... I'll use an elixir. Get everybody some HP. Okay. This will let... will let him drag out the fight. Which is what he wants to do. He's just gonna keep summoning bombs. And you see it even... Monster's FP is gone. Ah. Uh, as you can see, the bombs do a lot of damage. End this fight as quickly as possible. That's your key to success. Uh, since we have a turn where there's no bombs... Yeah! Now Mario can really get some hits in. Defense is not a bad move. And something to note about defense, you can still try to use the action command while you're defending. Because if you still get that perfect defense, it counts as you just saw. Oh, Gino uh, got out of it, so only one left is Mallow. With the, uh, I think it's Fear is what it is. I don't remember the exact status effect. I apologize if that's uh, the incorrect terminology, but that's what it looks like to me because of the shape. Not that Mario would be scared, it's just a status effect. Anyway. I must be dreaming! I'm ruined! I didn't want to do this, but now I have no choice! I think he's bluffing. Simmer down, Fluffy! I'm not going to waste this on you! Who knows what might happen? Take your best shot! Yeah, bring it! Enough! I got my pride! Now you're in for it! Huh? What the hey? Yeah. Bluffing! Why is it working? Ah! And that's how Punchinello dies. Getting qu squashed by a giant bomb. That thing is huge compared to the other bombs we've seen. Mario! If this thing explodes, we're history! Huh. Well, this is a fine mess. Hmm. Let's scram! Now! Yeah, I'd say we need to get out. Well, we still gotta rescue the kids in the star piece. Yeah, we should get out. Ow! It's gonna blow! No! <coughs> what on earth was that? <coughs> well, we won the battle. Now I hope we don't lose the war. Where Dinah and the Star? Huh? <coughs> huh, Star. Guess my question's just been answered. Yeah, yeah. Completely covered. <laughs> Come on, Mario, let's go! Yeah, alright. Hey, thanks, Star! Yeah! On top of the box, too. <laughs> and everyone? I really like the start because it's orange. That's three! Come on! Let's get the show on the road! Well, I guess they're here? Hopefully? Kids? This won't budge. Help me here. Give the minecart a push. Yeah, okay. 
put here. Care to read the warning? Uh, yeah, let's read the warning. <laughs> Minecart guidelines. Press A or Y to break, press B to jump, and get mushrooms and press X to accelerate. Moville safety board. Alright. Yay, my car ride! Yippee, this is gonna be fun! Let's see if I remember this route. Okay, that's the break. Jump, break. Okay. And this is accelerate. Okay. Ah, went off. And you can lean with it. You can choose which way you want to go. Jump. Jump. No, no, you want to break there. For the tight turns, you want to break. So you want to break here. Break here. Jump. Jump. Break. You don't have to break for these turns. Just the tighter ones. Like so. Like here. Or you won't make it. Break. Yeah, right there. 53 seconds. Almost 50. Then you go to this part. Jump! To get coins and mushrooms. Mushroom. Mushroom. I think you can hold. There's only so many mushrooms you can hold. No, I didn't want to jump there. Jump. And there's coins. Get a mushroom. Now you may be wondering, why is this important? We're just trying to escape. Well... Let's get out of here. And then you're on the next part. Uh, I didn't break fast enough. That's on me. Kind of lean with the, uh, with the turns. That helps too. If I remember correctly. Again, didn't break it. Really rusty on this part. Jump. Jump. Go. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. But this is practice. Just think of this as practice. Why am I saying think of it as practice? You'll see. Uh, two minutes and 29 seconds. And then you have this little part. Where there will be more coins you can grab. Here's where you really want to use the mushrooms to gain some speed. Two minutes and 49 seconds. Ah. I wonder how those kids are doing. Sure wish they'd hurry home. Settle down, woman. I asked Mario to help us out, so I reckon he'll bring them back when he's good and ready. I just have this odd feeling they'll be dropping in on us any minute now. Funny you should say that. Still gotta use the door like everyone else, Ma. Now settle down. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. Uh, we're home! <laughs> My parents would have been so angry if I just came home like that. Just, like, through the roof. I think anybody's parents would be upset if that happened. <laughs> Gracious! They really did drop in on us! Oh, my poor babies. Are you okay? Now, you may be wondering, where's the little one? Well, it's actually what uh, Dinah has on her back. Little Mite, are you hurt? Nah, we're okay, Ma. Ain't that right, Mite? We had fun. Get it, Dinah, Mite. Dinah and Mite. <laughs> Mama. Papa. You've been knocked senseless. You poor baby, you're safe now. Dinah! Haven't I told you often enough to never go into the mines by yourself? That's enough. Just be happy to have him back. Haven't thanked Mario proper either. Oh, I'm 
just so embarrassed. Mario, we can't thank you enough for everything. What's that? The roof, you say? Nah, I don't matter none. Right, Paul? It ain't nothing at all. You just leave any repairs to me. Give me a holler if you ever need a hand with your place. Sweet. Thanks again for bringing our babies back to us. You found Dinah, Might, and a star piece. But where's Toadstool? Don't be a stranger now. I'll be heading back to the mountain after fixing the roof. You come back and see us again, you hear? The trolley ride was fun. Can we go again? Oh, I thought you could talk to Mike. Reckon Dinah's taking a liking to you, Mario. Come back, Mr. Beetle! Don't you want to come to Boosters and play? Yeah, don't run away. We just want to play. We'll take good care of you. Uh, like... What they said. Okay, Mr. Beetle? Huh? Hey, it's Beetle. Hey, what are y'all doing? Hey, a Beetle. Yay. Don't you dare touch that Beetle. It's a present for Booster. That's right. Just hand it over nice and easy. Uh, yeah. Like they said. Or we won't be your friend. As you can tell, the third sniffet in two, right? Booster really, really, really likes beetles, but he can't catch his own. That's right. He's busy keeping the princess from the sky entertained. Wait, what? So we're catching beetles for him. So hand it over. That's right. Uh, pretty please? I kind of like the third sniffet, honestly. <laughs> oh no, it's getting away. Quick, catch it. Catch it. Bye, beetle. Huh. Well... <laughs> Princess from the sky, huh? Oh, that sounds... Very suspicious. Hi! Hey there, remember me from the mines? Found some neat stuff opening up a miner store. Come and take a look at what I got to sell. Item 1, a lucky jewel. It's sure to bring you plenty of luck. Sell it to you for a hundred coins. Now, this guy will sell you stuff. <laughs> you may think, 100 coins, but just trust me on this. It's a deal. All I got for now. Sorry, my inventory. He doesn't have anything. Come back occasionally and will have stuff you like. So what did we pay 100 coins for? Lucky Jewel. Summons luck at will. You use this and... Hey, Lucky. You may be thinking, oh, what's so great about that? If I remember right, the item doesn't get used up. You can continuously try to get the uh, double EXP. Of course, you could also get none <laughs> or no coins. It just gives you like a lucky flower. So there's that. Uh, a fun item, but it's the other things he ha he'll have in store that we want. Well, some of them, if I remember right. There's one in particular. They say you saved the kids. What you need? Also here. Now, I don't remember if she had this before. I don't think she did. If so, then I'm really messed up. Mid mushrooms. Recovers 80 HP. These are a huge boost up for mushrooms. Maple syrups. Recover 40 flower points. These are more expensive at 20 and 30 coins respectively. But... They are much better items. So we're going to buy uh, three mint mushrooms and... No, I can't carry more right now. Let me sell stuff. We don't want the mushrooms anymore. We kind of don't need them. And... Uh, you can always sell the Lucky Jewel for 50. If I need inventory space, I'll probably end up selling it before it's all said. There is sadly no uh, bank here in Super Mario RPG, which is sad because there are items we'll get that I'll want to keep, but they take up inventory space. Inventory space. So, kind of sad. Uh, we'll sell a lot of the honey syrups. And we're going to buy maple syrups. This is where, you know how we had a lot of coins? We're not going to have a lot of coins. <laughs> Here before too long. We'll be buying stuff. A lot of stuff changes in Moville once you save the kids. 
and get the uh, get the uh, last uh, star piece. A feller named Toad something or other came by mumbling about music. Didn't stay here, but he went to Tadapult Pond over yonder. Business ain't so good, you know. Any chance you'd want a room? Uh, no thank you. But that's your hint that you can go back to Tadpole Pond. So a lot to do, and we're going to spend the rest of this episode doing some stuff. Now, once the kids are rescued, as you can see, there is the hole still on the roof. Some new things open up. Record at Moville Mountain stands at 2 minutes 49 seconds. Come back and write it again. When you're tired, just go to the end and rest. Yes, it kept your time. This hole my wife dug is a shortcut to the trolley. It's an amusement ride and I named it Moville Mountain. Ain't that nifty? Drop in here, you'll be right at the trolley tracks. It'll only cost you 10 coins. High scores... Uh, oh yeah! 2 minutes 49 seconds. Want a rider or what? Uh, no thank you. Not now. Be that way. You be that way. <laughs> uh, a nice fun mini game again. And you get some coins. And if, if you're fast enough, I think you get items. I'm not... I don't remember it too well. I remember running the heck out of this and really learning the uh, the train tracks, but I don't remember if it was just for my own amusement or if there was a reason for it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but that's there. And I may make a little challenge out of it. Who knows? I knew everything was going to be all right when you showed up. Thank goodness those kids are safe. Good luck finding that princess of yours soon, too. Hey, thanks. And you see, we also have this character. Hi. Welcome to my per tent store. Would you like a shiny stone? Uh, sure. If you bring me a fireworks, I'll give you a shiny stone. Hmm. Fireworks, huh? You're different. Hi. I'm so hungry. Sure wish I had a carbo cookie. Hmm. Check out Booster's Tower. It's filled with neat stuff. Ma's off gossiping again. She's been gone for hours. Hi. You like fireworks? Working on my very own invention right now. Only got the sparklers down, but I ain't giving up. Wanna buy one for 500 coins? No thanks. So, bring fireworks to this person and you'll get a, or this kid, and you get a shiny stone. Fireworks cost 500 coins, which is a lot of coins. But, it will be something that I show off later. First, we now have access to Booster Past. Booster Pass. Why am I adding, adding S's to everything? Booster Pass. With this, we'll head toward Booster Tower, which we've heard of, and try to see if we can find the princess in the sky. But first... My favorite song? It's the Moville Minor song. Mo, mi, do, so, do, re, la, ti, do. It's got soul. So, remember, Toast Fry went and visited Moville. So, now we have a new song to make. Let's see. We have me. I didn't write down all the notes like I should have the first time. Yes, please. <laughs> so I can read the notes again. 
Die. Da. Da. So, do, re, mi. Mark this over here. <laughs> La, so, fa. So let's see, it's me. Kind of get this going. You're on your way to composing. Ray. La. Okay, I think I got it. Here we go. So we want me, do, no, do, so, do. Re La T Do Let's listen. Yeah, it sounds right. And it is. That's it. It's the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. A tenor card. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu. Now, what I like about it is that we had the alto card, and now we have the tenor card, which is a higher pitch. <laughs> a higher range, I guess you could say. Not a pitch. Anyway. Now that we have a tenor card, things change. Now the Frog Corn Emporium doesn't change. But this does. Hmm, tenor card holder, huh? What'll it be? And you have a new thing you can get. Froggy drinks, elixirs, and mega elixirs. Mega elixirs heal the party for 150 HP. These will be very handy later. Being able to heal everybody for 150 HP is nice. But because the party members don't quite have that much HP, we're just going to stick with elixirs, and I'm going to buy two. But they're also expensive mega elixirs at 90 coins apiece. Which is why I've tried to point out some different ways you can uh, get, get coins. Alright, and that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun. I like the minecart ride. Sorry I don't remember the track like I used to. <laughs> but I still think it was a pretty decent time, even with the uh, mistakes, because I remember the mushroom, a few of the mushroom locations and a few things like that. Even though you want to go fast, the brake is your friend, because that stops you from going off the track. And uh, you lose a lot of time that way. Next time, we'll head to Booster's Tower uh, via Booster Pass. <laughs>
We only have three stars, and there's quite a bit left to go. Till the next episode, I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars, and take care, everyone.